Hello friends! In this video we will test epoxy glues and maybe we will not define the best one, but anyway we will try to determine which glue is the best for which purpose. Here they are. The Fevicol, Eggfix Quick Setting Epoxy, Manol Epoxy Metal and Eggfix Steel Epoxy. All of them are two component glues. These two ones are transparent. Here we have black component and the white component and here one component is black and another is transparent. We will test the epoxies with the help of a piece of wood, plastic and metal. So here are the pieces of wood for each glue, also the pieces of plastic and a piece of metal. Let's start with the favicol. Let's check for the previous glues. It's soft, more soft than this. And this is not soft yet. It's like a liquid. We have spent approximately five minutes for preparing of each epoxy glue. 
time of of this mix is 15 minutes and it has a really great sound we can say that it's really hard already age of this one is 10 minutes it's softer than this one but anyway it's already hardened as to this one it's soft and this one is a liquid yes it's hardening now so at the present moment uh, this is favicol uh, this is Fix quick setting epoxy. Uh, this is manal, and this is Agfix steel. So the age of uh, this one is 20 minutes. Uh, this 15 minutes. Uh, this. 10 minutes and this 5 minutes. Let's check the results a bit later. So 5 minutes have passed. Let's check the glues. It's more hard than it was. It also has a good result and has a good sound. It's soft, so it's possible to change its shape. The same we can see about this one. So now the time here is 45 minutes, 40 minutes, 35 minutes, 30 minutes. This one is not soft anymore. It's practically the same. It's very difficult to change its shape. But it's not so hard as of these two ones. And the same can be said of this sample. Well, this sample was made 100 minutes ago. Of this one 95 minutes ago. 90 minutes ago. And 85 minutes ago. It's really very, very hard. It's also very hard, so now this one is very hard, so we can say that it's also hard. Well, the full time of hardening is approximately 24 hours and the complete hardening time amounts up to 7 days. But let's check the results within approximately 100 minutes. Favicol. So it's hard but plastic is very smooth uh, this will be also smooth and uh, that's why there is no sense to use such epoxies for such plastic also And also here. For example, all these epoxies are applicable for such plastic. But I have no such samples. Let's check the pieces of wood. <sighs> it's really not possible to break this connection. It's okay. <clears throat> this one is also okay. Also this epoxy metal is applicable for the pieces of wood and this is also okay 
as to uh, this one. So for metal, it's very smooth and it's possible to destroy this layer. Anyway, I've broken it. Egg fix. So, well, this well, this is really better. Metal epoxy. Or maybe we should wait for some time. But anyway, it's possible to remove this epoxy from this smooth metal. And also, egg fix steel epoxy. Yes. It's also possible to remove egg fix steel epoxy from the piece of metal. Now let's check these four samples with the help of the rotary tool. So approximately in an hour and a half all these samples can be drilled or grinded. And one more issue. I have never used these metal epoxies before, but I am very satisfied with the transparent ones. For example in such connections. Anyway, it's very easy to damage them. And I use the transparent epoxies in order to harden this part. And it's almost impossible to remove all the epoxy or to break something here. I'll demonstrate. I have simply to cut this epoxy. It's like a plastic part. It's very, very hard. So approximately in a day of this epoxy behaves like a transparent plastic. And in case of such plastic and of course the pieces of wood, there is no problem with the epoxy glue and it's really the best solution in my opinion for such purposes. After getting of the results, naturally I wasn't satisfied with them and decided to continue the test. Also, I've learned that the epoxy glues have problems with the ABS plastic and I've used exactly this type. So that's why we had problems with it. Now I will use another type of plastic and also we will try all the glues on metal and glass. I've grinded all the metal parts used before, like this. And we will try all the glues with such parts. Also we will conduct the second test on metal. For plastic test we will use three types of plastic. And also we will use 
the plastic bottle I've made four cuts and besides the plastic bottle or the bottle made of glass here we have no cuts but anyway I've used the cutting disc for Dremel in order to check was it possible to use all these glues with glass
So now the time of the first glue is approximately 40 minutes. Let's check the results. Epoxy glue is hard and we check all this part later. This one is also more or less hard. This one is a bit soft, but in an hour I hope it will be really hard. So it's possible to change its shape. As to this one, so here we have a problem, but the main goal is to determine how all this glue can be stuck onto this metal part. It's hard. Well, this one is also hard. So we can change its shape a bit. As to the fourth one, it's like it's like a, a rubber part. But anyway, it's hard. Well, this one is hard. Well, this one is also hard. So well, the same situation, and here we have. A bubble. So, in case of the reaction, it makes bubbles, and anyway, and anyway, here we have a, a hole. So, we will check this connection later also. It's okay. Uh, this one is okay. It's a bit soft, as already mentioned. Uh, this one also. It's also soft. It's also a bit soft. It's soft because we have made it approximately 20 minutes ago. The same situation here we have with the Acfix quick epoxy. As to this one here, we have not filled all this place. Here the epoxy glue is still soft. Let's wait a bit. Let's try to remove all this glue. Also, let's fill this gap. Approximately four hours have passed since we prepared the first glue. 
it's hard enough but in some hours we will check all the glues it's also hard enough and in some hours we will try to break everything anyway it will be too easy to break such connections but in case of glue here and here it would be really better it's really too hard This one is a bit soft, manual. It's very hard. everything can be grinded here we will have the same situation so the surface can be grinded or drilled and as to the metal surface and in some hours we will try to remove the glue from all the surfaces and break all these plastic connections and metal connections and one more experiment with rubber Twelve hours have passed since we made all these connections and the age of these four connections is approximately six hours.
and it's natural. The connection is very good. Also, we can say are the same about this connection. It's also very good. It was the best connection. So all the connections of the glue with the metal are ok. Now this type of plastic, the same result as with the ABS plastic. Anyway we could break it. Very easy. Very good connection. the best connection. Can be easily removed. Favicol. Almost the same result. Manual. A bit better result than the previous two ones. And Agfix Steel Epoxy. also can be easily removed. As you understand, in case of more surface here and in case of the glue also outside, the connection would have been much better. Glass
good connection but nevertheless it can be removed. Back fix quick epoxy. More difficult to remove, but anyway can be removed. Manual better connection with the glass and egg fix steel can be easily removed. Fabricol. Very good connection with metal. Really very good connection. Egg fix quick epoxy. Also a very good connection. Manual. Also very good connection. And egg fix steel. Also, so all the connections with metal are OK. And the last test rubber. And a nail. So we can break it easily. It was not so easy, but anyway, we could do it. It was easy to break it. Very easy to remove. Of course, in case of holes in rubber or plastic and metal, you can fill up all the gaps and grind and drill them subsequently. But I've tested all the glues in non-standard situations. As to the conclusion, all the glues are more or less strong and cope with their tasks. And in case of more or less big surface area, they are applicable on plastic, rubber, glass, etc. As to their use on metal surfaces, I was really very surprised, as all the glues showed really very very decent results. Hope this video was helpful for you. Thanks for watching. Wish you good luck.